Hey, how you doing, uh, guys doing? Uh, I wanted to kind of go a little bit more into the 2019 Mac Pro and I'm going to focus on their afterburner card and why I'm kind of interested in this is because I've got a really a theory on this. Um, this card might be able to use in other Macs other than the 2019 Mac Pro, um, uh, either through Thunderbolt and or uh, expansion uh, slots, but I'm going to get to that a little bit later and my theory behind that. And this is very, this afterburner card is a hardware acceleration for ProRes and ProRes RAW. Very similar what uh, Red uh, from Red Camera offers their Red Rocket card, which pretty much does the same thing for the Red Code or Red Code RAW for their uh, proprietary um, codexes. And uh, let's get it gets into some more particulars what this card can do. And uh, it can uh, decode and encode in three streams, 8K, 30 frames per second, ProRes RAW, 12 streams of 4K, 30 frames per second, uh, Pro, ProRes RAW, and up to 16 streams, 4K, 30 frames per second at ProRes 422. Now, I'm guessing it's primarily just going to do it for the timeline, multiple streams. Um, I don't know if it was intended for maybe uh, rendering out, then using the card for hardware acceleration. I'm kind of doubtful. That'd be kind of nice if it would. Now, uh, they're offering this, I think, uh, as a way. Um, of course, if your system's too slow, you can always go to proxy files, which means you're going to need more storage space. Um, so this kind of may actually get rid of the uh, pro or proxy files that you're going to have to generate, and then you'll have to delete later uh, later on, save uh, hard drive space, which I think is actually a good idea. Um, now uh, let me see here. So this is primarily going to uh, accelerate um, ProRes and ProRes RAW, and I'm guessing that, like I said, this is more for playback acceleration that's going to free your CPU and GPU for other tasks such as um, effects, um, transitions, and so forth. Um, and it's going to, you're going to get a lot more performance. Now, also, uh, I think we're going to see support from DaVinci Resolve. They said they're going to support uh, of Afterburner as well. And I think we're going to also see support from Red Camera as far as uh, encoding and decoding their Red Code and Red Code RAW as well. I'm guessing, now this is just speculation on my part, considering they are kind of partnering up with, with many third-party manufacturers. Now this is where uh, I get into a theory of mine. Um, because I looked at the Afterburner card and it seems to be based on their uh, PCIe or PCI Extended uh, bus. So it looks like it could possibly fit in other computers such as a 2010 Mac Pro might be able to use it or even uh, through Thunderbolt using something like an external uh, expansion box such as something like this right here. And of course, if you use something like that, you would probably have to wait until the official release of Mac OS Catalina, uh, because I'm supposing they're going to have, have to have all those drivers for the card as well. Of course, if you use it through a Thunderbolt um, bus, it, because uh, for example, a laptop using Thunderbolt 3, um, if you're also using eGPU with the afterburner car, there's probably going to maybe be some bandwidth issues. So you may end up having to use one or the other. I don't know. It just depends on your workflow. And as I mentioned, all, all those different streams it can support. And I'm sure if you have multiple frame rates and resolutions and stuff like that, the car would still be able to work within uh, confines of that, um, uh, the power available for the afterburner card. So while it says three streams 8K, you might be able to do one stream 8K and then uh, multiple streams of 4K or whatever uh, to give you an example. 
So um, I'm great to see this uh, being offered for like uh, video editors and hopefully my theory works out if it's based on PCIe bus and I'm sure people are going to try it uh, in other devices just to see if it'll work. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and see you guys later.